Binocular single vision, BSV, refers to the process by which the two images on each retina are fused to form a single image, complete with stereoacuity. A variety of disorders can result in the loss of BSV, the symptoms of which include diplopia, seeing two separate images, and suppression, the brain receiving information from one eye only. In this video, we will conduct a series of clinical tests to demonstrate a clinical assessment aimed at investigating a patient's binocular functions. Caroline? Hi. Caroline, I'm Vanetta. I'm going to be your office today. Come and have a seat. Thank you. The patient complains of reduced vision in the right eye. On visual acuity testing, we found right VA69 and left VA65. The cover test. This is used to detect latent and manifest deviations. It consists of three components. The cover component detects any manifest deviations, the uncover detects latent, and the alternate can elicit the maximum deviation. To perform the cover test at NIA, you will need an occluder and an accommodative target. So Caroline, I'm just going to do a couple of tests today. I'll just get you to look just up here for me. What's the smallest line you can see there? Uh, the bottom line? Yeah, can you read it out for me? O-T-H-B-T. -T. Good, and keep looking at that V now for me. The cover test shows a small exophoria at NIA with rapid recovery. The recording is below. The Bagalini striated glasses test. This test examines a patient's binocular functions. Using striations in the glasses, we can gain information about the patient's binocular single vision, suppression and diplopia. Normal lighting conditions makes this test less dissociative and ensures more accurate responses. To perform the Bagalini striated glasses test at NIA, you will need the Bagalini striated glasses and a pen torch. Caroline, I'm just going to do a test to see how well your eyes are working together. Yep. I'll just get you to hold this up like a mask for me. Okay, and I'm just going to shine this light. Can you tell me how many lines you see? Two. And how many lights do you see? One. Good. And are any of the lines missing or parts of the lines? Uh, yes. Yes. Part of one of the lines is missing. Okay, I'll get you to draw that out for me. Okay. The patient has drawn a cross with a break in the image from the right eye. This indicates central suppression in the right eye. At this point, we suspect a microtropia with identity as we did not observe a manifest deviation on the cover test. The four diopter prism reflex test. Because our patient is suspected of having a microtropia, we will perform the 4PRT to confirm this. This test assesses a two degree eye turn. We would expect a microtrope to fail the 4PRT. For the 4 diopter prism reflex test, you will need a 4 diopter prism and an accommodative target. I'm just going to do another test to make sure that your eyes are straight. Yep. I'll get you just to look at those letters again. And what's the smallest line you can read there again for me? The last line. The last line. O T H V T. Good. Look at the H for me now. Yep. And just keep looking at that. I'm just going to pop this in front of your eye. We are observing a normal response here. The eye under the prism moves in. The other eye makes a conjugate movement out, which takes the image off fovea and creates diplopia. Diplopia is the drive for motor fusion, causing the eye to move in and bring the image back onto fovea. However, despite a normal response observed, for the purpose of this video, we are assuming a failed response. In a failed response, we would either see the eye under the prism not move inwards or the opposite eye not moving back in after making the conjugate movement out. There are a number of stereoacuity tests used to examine a patient's depth perception. Titmus is a contour line test that contains monocular clues and does not require the patient to be bifoveal. For the Titmus stereoacuity test, you will need the stereo fly test booklet and the glasses. Caroline, I'm just going to do a few last tests to test your depth perception. Yep. I'll just get you to pop these glasses on for me. And if you look at this picture, can you pick up the fly's wings for me? 
Good, and now with this one, I'll get you to point to the circles that are jumping out at you. Just start at this one. And what about this one? And that one there. And the next one. I can't see anything. You can't see that one? Oh, okay, no worries, thank you. The patient has shown some level of binocular functions and is recorded as seen below. We are going to examine the patient using the Lang 2 stereo test. This test does not include any monocular clues and if they fail, it will support our theory that the patient is not bifovial due to a microtropia. For the Lang 2 stereo test, you will need the test plate. Okay, and this is just the last one. So, I'll get you just to tell me what you can see in the plate there. Okay. I can see the star at the top. Mm -hmm. Can you see anything else there? Uh, no, it just looks like I can't make anything out. Okay. The patient could only see the test star, which is visible to all individuals with or without binocular functions. Her inability to see any other stimuli further confirms our theory of the presence of a right microtropia. The patient's primary complaint was reduced vision in the right eye. The cover test revealed a small exophoria but no manifest deviation. The patient then demonstrated central suppression in the right eye on the BSGT, leading us to suspect a microtropia. The patient went on to fail the 4PRT, confirming that the patient was not bifovial. The Titmus and Lang 2 stereoacuity tests further supported that the patient was not bifovial and confirmed the presence of a right microtropia with identity. Further testing would include direct ophthalmoscopy to confirm the presence of eccentric fixation. In conclusion, by assessing the patient's binocular functions, we were able to gain invaluable information that was paramount to the final diagnosis. Carolyn, I'm just going to do one last test to test your depth. <laughs> Carolyn, I'll just do a couple of tests now to test your depth. <laughs> Last test to test your <laughs> the stereo fly test booklet and the glasses. I didn't need to do that. Well. <laughs>